Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let's see all about block diagram of an operational amplifier. Guys, basically this is a bit important. That's I cannot say that this is a guarantee question, but it's an important question. So basically the block diagram is, is like this. So initially the inverting and non-inverting terminals, input terminals are given to the input stage, then to the intermediate that forwards to the buffer stage that forwards to the output stage. So we'll be going one after the other in this tutorial and we'll be going through some ideal conditions of this operational amplifier and we will also try to go through virtual ground guys that's an important topic don't miss this tutorial for that if you came for that please continue watching okay it will be clear for you so basically the input stage it must provide very high input impedance guys the input impedance is very high to prevent the load of input ideally to to prevent the loading of the input stage so for an ideal one it is infinity guys okay so we have to remember that the input impedance should be more that will be our first condition and for an ideal one it's infinity okay that will be going through it again don't worry so the next point is it must have two different inputs any common mode signal such as noise signal noise signals are eliminated by using differential input as i hope everyone remember the thing that vd is equals to v2 minus v1 so if they if th these both belong are different input signals so if there is a noise in between them by subtracting these on that that on this we gonna remove that noise out of our signal got it we gonna eliminate by using the differential input method okay it will increase the bandwidth guys we are going to increase the bandwidth by this method so that operational amplifier can be used for very low frequency and very high frequencies also okay so now i hope everyone is now clear with the input part so now further moving on to the intermediate stage guys in the second stage so it is also known as gain stage so this will provide the additional voltage gain to travel large overall gain to achieve large overall gain for this intermediate stage is only for attaining of large voltage gain guys it's going to provide a large voltage gain to the output of the input stage so that's the reason why we are keeping this intermediate stage so now the buffer and level shifter buffer is used is usually with higher input impedance and lower output impedance and unity gain unity gain means that gain is one guys that will prevent the loading so the main goal of this is to avoid that loading process guys because once we give the input we should get the output it should be a bit faster that it will be more efficient okay when it is connected between the intermediate state and the output state okay i hope now everyone is now clear with the buffer so it will be having higher input impedance and lower output impedance with gain unity okay now let us go through the output so output requirement of an output stage are output impedance must be low guys that's a most important thing to know and output dc voltage swing must be large so the output voltage swing that is nothing but the sine or cos if there is that signal like this if it's given like this okay let us assume that if it's given like this small 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 at the end it should have something like this it should have a large swing so that will be the best output so now i hope everyone got a small idea on the block diagram and its parts so now let us go through the ideal conditions ideally voltage gain will be infinity input impedance infinity output impedance zero as it should be maximum i have told you that it should be minimum and voltage gain should be more okay infinity open loop bandwidth zero input offset current so these are the few ideal conditions of an operational amplifier guys so now i hope everyone got a small idea on this so now let us go through virtual ground guys this is an important thing to know guys because we will be using this topic in our applications mainly so remember this this is an important thing to know okay basically virtual ground that is nothing but we'll be having two inverting and non-inverting right so we'll be making them to zero guys that's nothing but a virtual ground so we're gonna get our voltage sorry what's we what we call as a guys i'm really confused with it every time guys i'll be just forgetting it like that okay just give me a second i'm gonna just start we check it and i'll be saying it's open loop gain only yeah i was saying correct so the voltage open loop gain should be infinity for these kind of virtual grounds guys so in this case any one of the input terminal will have zero terminal voltage although the terminal is not connected to the ground so if you give a symbol like this guys with the dots and an arrow mark 
that indicates that among this v1 and v2 any one of them is grounded that is nothing but any one of these voltages is equal to zero the voltage supply is zero there is no voltage supply so that's all about this tutorial guys in the next tutorial we will be going through the characteristics of off amp guys that's an important thing okay guys let's meet in the next tutorial thank you thanks for watching